But gaps along the border wall are closing. In October of 2018, the government announced it would waive environmental laws to fill some of those holes. Tonight, an update on changes our field crew found today. Channel 5's Taylor Winkle joining us now in the studio. Border Patrol told us those gaps get exploited either by eating up manpower with agents standing guard or serving as an easy pathway to cross. We talked to locals experienced with their history. A federal surveillance camera stares down at the progress, filling gaps in the border wall. What you're seeing here behind me is a, a complete picture of what it's supposed to look like, how it's supposed to work. In Los Indios, near the International Bridge, surrounded by machinery. Former mayor and retired Border Patrol agent Rick Cavazos is surprised to see how much has changed. We're very excited about that here in the community uh, because it does provide that uh, sense of security. This is what the same site looked like just six months ago, shortly after the government broke ground. Ever since the wall went up in 2009, Cavasso says this gap was an issue. He patrolled this area for 10 years with CBP. It was always a vulnerable area, and so there was always uh, smugglers that are taking advantage of the fact that it was open here. A quarter of a mile down the road one way, Los Indios neighborhoods. Less than a mile in the other direction, the river. Cavasso says this new fence serves as an important tool for agents. If there's nobody around here to keep an eye on this gap, then it, it doesn't take long for uh, traffic, uh, illegal traffic, whether it be immigrants or narcotics or smugglers to make it into the neighborhoods and try to blend in and, and uh, hide from Border Patrol. This gate putting a stop to that, narrowing the area for illegal traffic to get stuck between the fence and the river. It blocks off those nearby homes. A couple miles down the levee, though, another gap in the fence, this one with no construction equipment in sight. And in Cameron County alone, more than 30 gaps existed when the project started. Right now, there are two under construction in Los Indios. A project manager on site told us while that fence we just showed you looks close to completion on the outside, they still have work to do. Tonight, we're still waiting on our request for information from Border Patrol. In the Channel 5 News studio, Taylor Wingle, Channel 5 News at 6. Respite. Webster's Dictionary describes respite as a temporary period of relief. People criticized us for saying we're encouraging people to come because we have this respite center. That's probably not an appropriate name for it. I don't know how much respite is going on in there. It's been really crowded. Overcrowding at the respite center means not everything goes as 